very much. Have a great Friday, and uh, we'll talk to you again later. Yes, thank you, you too, Jeremy. Well, some of the biggest names in sports and entertainment are in Saskatoon for an incredible event tonight. And joining me now with more is Michael Landsberg. Thank you so much for coming in. Can I call you Steph? Yeah, of Okay, course. Steph, how are you? Old friends, right? Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> I mean, we work in the same, in the exactly. same, kindred spirits for sure. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. And thank you to everyone who's coming here for this event. Huge event. You have been a voice for mental health for quite a while now. Uh, quite open about your own depression. Why is an event like this so important? Well, I think this this is a, a multi-dimensional event, and I'll tell you why, because it's a fundraiser, right? And it will raise an enormous amount of money. I mean, it's staggering how, how successful it's been. The sponsors that got behind this are incredible, and people paying $1,000 a ticket. So on one level, it's, it's going to do some good financially, and it's going to set up a program and continue research in a very important area. But on the other hand, every time you do something like this, you raise awareness. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, if there's 500 people in the audience tonight, I think it's 550, there will be someone in the audience whose life has changed because they heard Clara Hughes or, or Mike Babcock or me talk about their own struggles, not so much Mike, but Clara and I. Because when you hear someone say, you know, I suffer from depression, I have a mental illness, I'm on medication, do I seem ashamed? Not much. Do I seem embarrassed? No. Do I seem weak? No. So people who hear that all of a sudden feel a little bit more like they can let something out. Mm -hmm. And kind of having those role models, I guess, to feel that comfort to say, you know what, I'm not ashamed and I feel that I can come out and talk about issues that I might be having, whether big or small. It's it, the, the, the shame uh, and the embarrassment and the sense that, well, I can't tell people because I want to be perceived as weak, mm -hmm. is, is incredibly destructive in our world because, A, I mean, people take their own lives rather than come out and share. I mean, think about that. And um, besides people who would actually physically end their lives, there are people who wreck their lives by not going for help. People will suffer year after year after year. I mean, I get messages from people every day because I'm throwing myself out there saying, you know, you can get me at, at Hey Landsberg uh, on Twitter or any other number of ways. And I will hear from people a lot saying, you know, I've suffered for five years or six years. And I can tell you, if you suffer from a severe mental illness, like a severe depression, the, that time you have given up, you will never obviously get back. It's, it's, it's almost as if you have lost that time because the number one characteristic of depression in particular is the inability to feel joy. So if you go through a joyless existence, you really are barely alive. Mm -hmm. And now this One Voice fundraiser is raising funds for the Neural Health Project. Can you talk a little bit about what that's going to entail? Uh, I can talk a little bit about yeah. it. I think the, the key word be, would be little because yes. obviously it's not my project. And we've had Dee Dee talk about it before. But. Right. And now I have to ask you, how long was the segment with Dee Dee? Our segment with Dee Dee. Did you have to cut her off? <laughs> Did you have to literally, like, and she was yeah. talking to you, going, okay, we'll take a break. We'll be back. And she was still going She's and going. So passionate, yeah. Wow. But yeah. she, yeah, she, she is uh, incredibly passionate. And this is kind of her baby, her and, and Mike Babcock. Uh, I, you know, I mean, Dee Dee brings a multi dimensional look at, at medicine in general, yeah. right? That it, there's not just Western medicine or Eastern medicine, there's a combination of two. And, and I, I, I love what she's doing. Uh, I mean, we're so far behind, we're so backwards when it comes to psychiatry, when it comes to illnesses of the brain that they're called. Like I said to my buddy who's got Parkinson's, I said, how come you have a brain disease and I have a mental illness? You're, you have a brain disease, this thing called Parkinson's, but I have this, this illness called depression, but it's called a mental illness. So I, I think that right. Dee's way of looking at things is really healthy. And it's going to definitely be eye-opening as this program expands. And now you're a number, one of a number of big names coming to the city. Can you name a couple others who are... Well, I, I, you said I'm number one. I, I think if you're putting out the rankings of bigness <laughs> of names, uh, I think I would fall ahead of... Hmm, Head of Natasha Stanishevsky. Oh, oh, right? careful. She well, worked here. <laughs> I know. That's why I said it. Um, I mean, I, I think that, that people that do what you and I do and what Natasha does, we're sort of, you're not celebrities, but we're, we're known because yeah. the nature of your job is that people see you on camera. Yeah. But I, I mean, I think, you know, it really starts from Mike Babcock and uh, Ryan Getzlaff is going to be here and um, a ton of other people, which is usually a person's excuse when they don't remember anyone else. Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer. Yeah. I remember some. Claire Hughes. Claire Hughes. Uh, now, now Claire, is, Claire is kind of like the, the godfather uh, is. The godfather is. Godfather yeah. Of uh, <laughs> mental health. Because, I mean, she is, she is like this amazing, amazing example. If the whole thing is to convince people that mental illness is not weakness, 
How good is Clara Hughes? I mean, she's she like, biked she, across the whole country. She biked across the whole country. She was known on the final lap of, in speed skating as being the person that more than anyone could dig down deep. Yeah. She had incredible toughness. So do not ever think, when, you, when you're looking at Clara Hughes, do, do not ever for the rest of your life think that mental illness equals mental weakness. I think that that's the perfect way to end that, this. Uh, look, I like that. You know, I'm shaking. Don't ever do that. Yes. Don't think like that. Yeah, yeah you know, it, it's we're doing what we're doing here right now mm -hmm. is is really all I do. You know, I'm not about fundraising. I, I mean, I'm thrilled to be part of this, but it's just about looking into the camera and saying, hey, you know, I struggle, and if you struggle, go get help. And if you want to reach out and talk to someone, reach out and talk to me. Thank you so much. For Steph, that. great, great being here. Yes, thank you so much for coming in. And I know the event is sold out, but uh, thank you all. Thank everyone who's made time to come to Sasquatch. I'm going to thank each event. and every one of them for that. Thank Just you. <laughs> and yeah, hopefully this event will continue to come to Saskatoon and you guys can check it out. One Voice fundraiser. You can also check out the Neural Health Project for more information.